addiction occurs among our youth at the age of 15 to 18. We think it is something that is detrimental. Because you know why? Because these consequences are rooted from the premature decision of our youth. We say uh, dating in secondary school can influence our kids into the wrong path. When we talk about their future, their whole career, their whole future career, all those, all those, all those dedication from their parents that have had paid, that they have paid for them in uh, throughout their whole life will be gone, will be doomed. We say when they be in a relationship, we think they will get too emotional and they get and they tend to get in a sexual inter. Uh, they get, they tend to be become sexually active, and when say when they are sexually active, it can lead to other disease. When we're talking about sexually transmitted disease, STDs, HIV, or even unpregnant, unwanted pregnancies. So what are we trying to do today, ladies? Society no. position thinks that we want to take this debate principally. When we talk, going to talk on principle, why dating in school is harmful and does more harm than good to our our youth. So this is the principle that we are holding today. That we think that when harms outweigh the benefits in principle level, we would like to condemn the act of dating in school. And we don't want to embrace it in any way. So now let me move on to my split. When I'm going to talk about how minors tend to make premature decisions without considering of the consequences. And then my partner is going to come up here and talk about how dating is a root of the wrong societal perception that's happening under the status quo. But before I move on to my substantive, yes, P O I. Okay, all right, sir. So you mentioned that. Oh, all right, all right. So you mentioned that by having a dating with each other is going to promote like something like this. So can I ask you something? If they don't, have, if they don't date with each other, is it possible that they are going to have sex with yeah. each other? So let me answer that in the second point under my argument. So now let me jump into my substantive on the idea of how minors tend to make premature decision without considering of the consequences. So the principle behind this is that we think our kids are naive, we think our kids are not mature enough, we think they not tend to think of the consequences that can happen. So we think with this reason, whatever they do, it can jeopardize their future. So we as adults, we as a government, need to condemn the act of dating in secondary school. Let me jump into my first points in today. When I'm going to talk to you about the nature of the kids, that they are the one, yes, they want to experience things. Yes, they're in the process of trial and error. Usually we let them do whatever they want. But when adult, in this case, the government, who has an obligation to take care of the kids under the social contact, contract theory, or when who is an adult who can see the wider vision, who can anticipate the harm that can possibly happen. We say when there's a potential harm, we would like to condemn that act. We say on the principle, on, so we, on the same, this is the same principle why we think minors are not allowed to drink. We think minors are not allowed to drive because we think they are not ready and they are in need. And their rights, we think we would like to give them rights, but when there's a potential harm, that's when we forbid that right. This is the same principle. We think when dating has a potential harm that can jeopardize their life, we would, we would like to condemn that act. Especially when we're talking about dating in school. It is not essential activity that they need to be involved. When we see these when we see these activities can move to sexual intercourse, we don't want it to we don't want to do it. And especially when right now they look in a small picture. So now let me jump to the second point under the idea of dating itself. Why principally it's wrong. We say dating it is intimacy, it is an act of intimacy between two people. But because they are young and they can be easily influenced, we, we see that right now in the society, with the perception that they're having right now, they have the perception that dating is trendy. Being in a relationship is something cool. We think this is a wrong, uh, relate, uh, is, this is a wrong perception that has been indulged by our youth, and we don't want to see that happen. We think we can, because that right now, they can be easily influenced by their peer. So that right now, they'll get into a relationship because the rest of their classmates are already in a relationship. And we think when all those girls after the gym class in their gym, they were talking about their sex life and their, how they have how their baby life with their partner, with their boyfriend. We said peer pressure. Well, could you at the stage that even if you don't want to have sex, you will try, you will, you will usually get involved into sexual intercourse with your partner. But because right now, because we see the immature and not ready, they can be easily influenced into these kind of things that we they're not supposed to do. And it can even to violence when we see usually in dating it can, can be a violence that will be further elaborated by second point by my speaker. 
in this we say the drugs, it is in line with drugs and alcohol. Usually teenage, no one wants to use drugs, no one wants to drink alcohol. But when their friends are doing it with the peer pressure, they tend to get involved in those parties. And that right now they're not strong and independent enough to use their refusal skill because they're afraid that their peers will look down on them. So let me move on to my second point under the second level. No. We said what's wrong with dating if they're going to question us on what's wrong with dating. We said dating right now is not principally on the idea of dating itself without having sex is a distraction in school. We say one, when you, when you had a fight with your boyfriend and you're concerned about your beloved one, oh, is he going to dump me or not? You know what? We think you're not focusing on class. We think you're not concentrating in what you're supposed to do. And we say secondly, affection in school degrades all the moral gr grounds that school is supposed to be. We say educational institution is supposed to be there to nourish our youth to become a good adult. It's an education center. Educational center. It's there, and we think when kids are expressing their affection for their beloved one in school, it's against its clash with the principle of the school itself. School is not some, it's a school is somewhere you're supposed to try to be a professional as much as you can. We say it's against the principle of school. And second point under this, how can it jeopardize your future? Because they are young and they eat, they're not usually well educated. And, and we think right now, especially when they're in secondary school, they're not ready to use all, the, they don't, and then, uh, they're not ready to, and they're not educated about all the contraceptions and all those tools that can help in preventing pregnancy and STD. So we said they tend to have HIV and STD. When they have HIV and the STD, one, they might get discriminated by the society. Two, this can destroy the future when they might die. Secondly, when we're talking about pregnancy, we said that pregnancy, if you have an unwanted baby, it can lead to, it can destroy your whole future career because you have to quit school and can't do that. And lastly, let's, last point, let's talk about secondary school. We think <coughs> secondary school is a, is a place where you should be educated. Kids in secondary school are younger than 18 years old. We think they're not responsible enough when teachers still have to shape them for their homework, shape them to come to class. We don't think they're responsible and they're accountable in any way. Then we think they're not an adult. Sure, maybe few of them are mature, but we think majority of them are immature and naive. So at the end of the day, in principle, we think that relationship in school is our kids are not ready. But if we're talking about university, when kids right now are above the age of 18, why their lives have changed? They're in university life, they need to be, they have to be more responsible. No professor will chase you down for their homework. No professor will ask you to come to class. But if you don't come, if you don't come, your future might be jeopardized. That's why we think in university, they're more responsible and they're more ready. So that's why right now, on the side of opposition, we think we would like to condemn the act of dating in school because it can be, it can be detrimental to the future of our kids. Thank you. Thank you.